I did what I wanted to do. And if I was one of those people standing there in front of Pontius Pilate, who do you want for me to release for you? Barabbas or Jesus? And it's called Christ. I would have gladly jailed out Barabbas and crucified Jesus because I loved my sin. And one day, my friends, my, my testimony is this. Is that God saved me? He opened my eyes. He revealed His Son, Jesus Christ, to me. He showed me my sin, that I was a liar, that I was a thief and a scoundrel, that I was an adulterer, that I loved my flesh, that I was headed to hell. My friends, it convicted me, it brought me to my knees, it gave me great sorrow, that I realized once and for all that I deserved it, like all men deserve it, that I sinned against all my holy God. And it made sense to me that why would God send His Son Jesus to die? Because I knew, I realized that I couldn't live a good life. I realized that no matter how much I strive to try to live a good moral life, that I would fail constantly. That I would fail constantly. That I could not be righteous. I couldn't even live a good moral life on my own. I loved my sin. But that Jesus Christ had came to set me free. That he came to set me free. That he broke those chains. That I was a slave to sin. That he broke those chains and he set me free. And Jesus Christ made me his own. That he died for me on the cross. That he laid down his life for me. When he died upon that cross and he took the punishment that I rightfully deserved. That I was, that God would have been justified in sending me to hell. Like he would be justified in sending every, each and every one of you, all of us to hell. He was justified by But Jesus Christ, the beauty of this that we preach. We don't preach to you a dead man, my friends. The early church... They were often criticized, saying they worshiped a dead man, but no, my friends. We do not worship, Christians do not worship dead people. We don't worship saints, we worship Jesus.